Hello adventurers, um, this isn't going to be one of my normal videos. I'm here today at the site of the May 4th, 1970 Kent State Massacre. Um, I have really mixed feelings about doing a video on this um, for a lot of a lot of reasons, but um, you can read a lot more of the history when you do the research online, but long story short, um, near the end of April, beginning of May of 1970, President Nixon announced the bombing of Cambodia. Um, he thought in an effort to uh, hasten the war to an end in Vietnam, um, people around the country thought he was expanding the war. And so uh, protests began, um, some unrest on college campuses, and on May 4th there was a rally right here in the commons behind me on the Kent State University campus. Um, there's a lot that happened in a very short amount of time, um, but students gathered at the Victory Bell. Uh, you can't really see it through the trees. You can sort of see it right there through the trees. Um, protests began. Um, very long story short, the National Guard chased them up this hill right behind me with this walking path as well as a hill further in the distance. They split them around Taylor Hall here. Um, I don't want to film on the other side because I just am not okay with it. I've cried several times already today. But National Guardsmen opened fire and in 13 seconds shot 67 bullets, I believe is what they said, um, into the parking lot back here. Um, they killed four, wounded nine others, permanently paralyzing one of the nine. Um, there are memorial markers at, that surround the sites of where each of the people were killed, and they were 19 and 20 year old kids, so this is a really hard um, place to be at, really hard history to watch. Um, here in Taylor Hall, you can see that doorway right there, they have a museum that kind of goes through everything. It has, uh, you know, survivors speaking, quotes from family members of those who were killed. Um, yeah, it's just really hard. Um, I highly recommend you come check it out. One of the really interesting things is on the other side of Taylor Hall. So there is, um, I'll just put the map up here. So you see the pagoda on your left, which is actually diagonally right behind here. Um, the guardsmen were at the pagoda firing toward the parking lot. Um, and in between there, there is a uh, steel sculpture and one of the bullets pierced the sculpture. And written on the sculpture, someone had written in chalk, what has changed? Was it all in vain? And, you know, I just think about my students who have done these protests lately, myself, who've, you know, I was at the Women's March, and, uh, no, I hope it wasn't in vain. I hope things have changed. I hope things change in the future. So, yeah. Um, if you get a chance, um, it is located, I'm sorry, I cannot remember. <laughs> you can Google where it's located. Um, that's how I got the address, but, yeah. Kent State University campus.